Welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here. So, a little update on what's going on with my life right now. So, today is my last day in South Africa. My flight was supposed to be at 6.30-ish, 6.45-ish. I just got an email saying it was delayed four hours. So, now my flight's at 10 which is super annoying because I like planned my day so that I didn't really have anything going on. I went out to breakfast with some of my friends and like said bye to them before I left. Now I have so much time and I don't know what to do. But yeah, that's what this video is gonna be about. This is my first time traveling alone. So I'm not really nervous, but it'll be interesting, especially in an airport that I'm not familiar with and I don't really know my way around, and this airport is giant. You guys are new here. I am studying abroad, so I just spent six weeks in South Africa, and now I'm traveling to Europe, and I'm spending 12 weeks in Paris. So that's where I'm gonna be going today. Um, it's a pretty long flight, I wanna say. It's like 12 hours, 11 hours, something like that. But it's okay because I'm in business class, so I have like a whole like bed area to myself tv so it'll be great it'll go by fast i'll probably just sleep the whole time but i'm so annoyed because i my first flight from here is to london actually and then i have a layover for like i was supposed to have a layover for like two hours and then i had a flight to paris but since my first flight got delayed four hours that messed up like my layover and everything in my second flight so I'm in the middle of trying to find a new flight to Paris and figure that all out so that's super stressful yeah that's just what's going on right now um it's around like one o'clock and I'm literally just sitting in this random apartment our program kicked us out of our room this morning because someone else was moving in there so they brought us to this random room with it's like the tiniest room ever. It has five beds lined up. I'm like sitting on one of the beds. There's five beds lined up. There's a kitchen behind me and then a bathroom and that's it. Like, <laughs> I don't know how five people would even live in here. I'm so glad this was not my apartment, but we're just staying here for a little bit. And then some of my friends are actually not leaving till tomorrow. So they're gonna sleep here. But yeah, I'm just kind of chilling. Um, I'll probably go get some lunch in a little bit and just wait around till it's time to go to the airport, I guess. Also, I forgot to mention the best part. My mom will be meeting me in Paris. So when I land in Paris, she will probably already be there because my delay and everything. I was supposed to get there before her, like a few hours before her and then just wait around. But because of my delay, I'm probably gonna get there like either right at the same time or after her, which works out good. And I'm very excited to see her. She'll be there for like a week, maybe a little over a week, like eight days or something, I think. Kind of chilling out until then. Um, but yeah, not very exciting right now, but look at this bunk bed. Like, <laughs> this is very irritating. There's not even a bed up here. Like what? Um, I'm gonna watch some Netflix for maybe like an hour or something and then try to figure out my flight. Or maybe I'll figure out my flight first and then watch Netflix. That probably is a better idea. at all of my luggage i got this cart and it worked out perfectly but i'm trying to find where i check in but this airport's very confusing so yeah that's what i'm doing right now finally made it through security and everything that was a hassle i'll tell you that and right now i'm at the british airline lounge so I had like dinner and everything and I was watching some TV and now I'm taking a shower. I've never showered in the airport, so like this is pretty cool. It's a nice shower too, like looks really nice. So 
This is literally one of the best showers. It was so nice. It was the best needed too before my flight. But I wanted to tell you guys what happened when I got here. So I went and I checked in and everything. Since my first flight got delayed, my second flight's obviously all messed up. So the airport that I'm at didn't have my new second flight in the system they had my old second flight but yeah i had to deal with that and like figuring that out we had to like contact london and like ask them a bunch of questions and then i checked in two bags two big suitcases and i was gonna carry on one like my like smallest suitcase i went to go through security <laughs> and i forgot to take my face wash out of my bag so they obviously stopped me and like searched through my stuff because the face wash was over 3.4 liquid ounces and you can only have 3.4 in your carry-on of liquid so they were like okay we have to throw this out or you have to like go back through check-in and like check in the third bag so i had to go all the way back check in a third bag I was only allowed to check in two bags and then more than two you have to pay for. And I didn't think it was gonna be that much. I was just like, oh, like probably like 40 bucks, whatever. And so I went, I checked it in. He's like, okay, 2,300 Rand, which is South African currency. And that's like $200 in US currency. And I was like, you're kidding. <laughs> I was like, I did not think it was gonna be that much. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, there's nothing I can really do about it now. This face wash is something that my doctor had, like, prescribed to me. But they only have it in the U.S., so it's, like, really hard to get. That's why, like, I didn't just throw it out and buy a new one. Um, or else I would have done that. So I ended up having to pay the 200 and then go all the way back to security and do that. But I made it. And I'm so glad I showered. Like, so glad. I was feeling so gross. And this 12-hour flight would have been horrible if I didn't get to shower. Finally made it to London. That was literally the easiest flight ever. As soon as I got on the plane, I immediately just lay down and passed out. I didn't even wake up until breakfast was being served and I missed dinner and everything. It was just like crazy. When I woke up, the flight attendant was like, I tried to wake you up for dinner, but you wouldn't really move. I was like, ah, oh, sorry, I was really tired. But I'm here and I'm in the bathroom of the british airline lounge i just got some food in me and i'm just waiting for my connecting flights to take off but yeah that was literally the easiest flight ever it was like 12 hours and i slept the whole entire time so i'm like awake ready to go yep my mom just texted me that she's in paris so that's exciting she had a way shorter flight than me it was only like six hours She's gonna wait for me there, and yeah, I'm just waiting for my next flight. Just arrived in Paris. Um, I'm waiting for my luggage at Baggage Claim. My mom actually went to the hotel already because she got here like three hours early and didn't really want to just like sit in Baggage Claim. She went to the hotel, so I'm gonna meet her there. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Baggage Claim. I'm so happy to finally be here. That was like 24 hours of full traveling. Got my bags. <laughs> So pretty, look at our room for the night. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We had some little snacks with tea downstairs and now we're gonna get dressed and 
go do something it's not really nice out it's kind of like cloudy and it's a sunday so a lot of stuff's closed i guess just found that out hi <laughs> from paris hi. here we go out in the town yep okay ending my video off here um i was gonna bring you guys to like go walk around and stuff but i feel like i kind of just want to keep this more of a travel vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed traveling across the world with me um yeah some parts were very stressful but i made it i'm so glad i'm here i'm here for 12 weeks so there's gonna be many videos in paris and paris themed videos and europe videos and all that so make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and i'll see you guys in my next one